week 12 pregnancy update. So we are at 12 weeks and this week was really exciting because we got to have our next doctor's appointment. So Anthony and I uh, both went. Anthony was able to get off of work a little early and join me. Um, and we went and it was actually really, really fast. Um, definitely compared to the first appointment. Um, I think the first appointment was maybe an hour long and this one was maybe 20 minutes. I mean, maybe a half hour. It was, it was super fast. Um, and so we got in, they took my uh, weight and um, also my blood pressure again. Um, I met with my doctor. We were really hoping that we would get a uh, ultrasound and get an updated picture of little baby, but unfortunately we did not. And so they just had um, the Doppler. Um, and so they just were, we were able to listen to baby's heartbeat for the first time, which was really cool to hear. It took her less than 30 seconds to find it, which was, um, a lot easier for me to handle. It was really exciting to hear. I mean, um, I'm still feeling really nauseous, so I mean, I figured there was a baby in there, um, but just to hear that heartbeat and confirm that, you know, baby is alive and doing well, it was really exciting. So we did hear how the heartbeat, heartbeat is 165 beats per minute. So that was kind of interesting. I guess I was reading that the range is anywhere from 120 to 180. And according to an old wives tale, um, if your baby has a higher heart rate, then it's a girl. Um, I've read on so many forums, people are like, don't listen to that, it's totally false. I had a boy and he had 165 heart rate, so uh, I don't think that clue is going to help us at all figure out what the gender is. I cannot wait to figure out what the gender of this baby is. Um, I'm still hoping for boy and Anthony is still hoping for girl. So anyway, it was really cool to hear that heartbeat. Um, and just, you know, again, touch with my doctor and ask any questions that we had and she's just making sure we're on track so everything's going well. Um, they gave me the uh, flu shot, which apparently is very important to get when you're pregnant. I know a lot of people probably have opinions about it, but um, from what I've read, it's very important to get a flu shot while you're pregnant. Um, it'll, you know, if you get the flu while you're pregnant, it could be very harmful to the baby. Um, and also, if you get the flu shot while you're pregnant, the baby um, is more likely to be protected from the flu, apparently. So, um, I had no qualms against it, so I got it. My arm was a little sore for like a couple days afterwards, but it's totally fine now. And that was basically it. We really didn't have, you know, very much to do. I did, they didn't have to take my blood at all, and so it was just a really fast appointment. Um, so unfortunately, no new picture of baby Denzel. So sad. It's still a blob to me. <laughs> um, maybe next appointment we'll get an ultrasound. I'm not sure. Definitely to find out the gender, we will have an ultrasound, but until then, it's just a blob. <laughs> So um, for this week, um, my symptoms are pretty similar, which is nausea, unfortunately. I was so excited. I've read in so many forums, people are like, oh, as soon as I hit 12 weeks, that nausea was gone. And so I was like, 12 weeks, 12 weeks, 12 weeks. I just have to make it to 12 weeks. And here I am. I'm at 12 weeks. I'm past 12 weeks and nothing. Still have nausea. So I'm really bummed about that. A lot of people are like, no, 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 now you gotta wait until like 16 weeks and then it'll definitely be gone by then. I don't know, I'm not getting my hopes up, but I would really like to kick this nausea. I have lost three pounds ever since I first weighed myself when I first found out I was pregnant because I just haven't been eating. The nausea has been so bad. Like I have it right now, I just don't even wanna eat dinner. So I have to force myself to eat it. It's just so hard. Um, it's still kind of the thing where like one day it'll be all day nausea, the next day it'll be like fine in the morning, fine in the afternoon, and then as soon as like early evening starts, and then the rest of the day I'm just nauseous, and it's terrible, oh my gosh, it's terrible. Um, another symptom for this week is I'm really tired, I'm super tired right now, I could take a nap, and if you know me, you know I never take naps, I, I think I've maybe... I can count on my hand how many times in my life I've taken naps. I mean, ever since I was little. Like, as I was older, I, I just don't take naps. I don't get that tired. But I'm just so tired now. Definitely going to bed earlier and earlier every day. Um, 
I was kind of interesting. I now have food aversions. I don't really have food cravings, but I do have food aversions. And I'm really sad about this one because I don't like chicken anymore, which is crazy because if you knew me before I got pregnant, I loved chicken. I got chicken all the time. Every time we went out to a restaurant, I get a chicken, chicken sandwich, you know, chicken, anything. I just love chicken. I used to love chicken. Now I can't do it. And that's not to say I can't do chicken at all. Like Chick-fil-A, I'm able to have like the chicken strips. And I think like I'm okay if I have chicken with something, but if it's just like grilled chicken, I can't do it. Anthony and I went out to um, B-dubs the other day and I got a, a grilled chicken wrap and I couldn't eat it. It was just, the chicken was like making me want to puke. I was like, Anthony will laugh. Another thing is my emotions are crazy. I almost cried in B-dubs because I couldn't, I didn't like chicken anymore and I used to love chicken. Like I was just so, so sad. Um, another thing that I really can't eat anymore is steak. I used to love steak all the time. Now I can't eat it at all. It's just, I don't know, chicken and steak, it's like they're, I don't know what it is. I just can't do it. So that's been a bummer. Um, I still really don't like broccoli. We went out to eat um, the other day with our friends and um, my friend got a, a, her dish and on her dish was broccoli and just looking at it made me want to puke. I mean, it was that bad. So those are just kind of quirky things that are happening. Um, I really don't have any cravings at all. I mean, I tell everyone, I mean, yeah, I always crave sweet things like cake or cookies, but I mean, I always craved that before I was pregnant, so I don't count that as a craving. So I really haven't really had any cravings um, as much. Um, still drinking um, apple juice like crazy. Um, I really like crackers, watermelon, although I haven't bought it in a while. Uh, maybe I have to buy it this week at the store. So like I definitely have things that like I eat a lot of, but definitely nothing that I'm craving right now. This week, baby is the size of a large plum. Um, so it's getting bigger. Last week was a lime. Um, according to my apps, the big thing this week are reflexes and baby can start um, opening and closing its hands and moving like arm at the elbow. Um, also like its brain is working a lot, a lot of synapses going on. So it's exciting, um, to see, you know, on those apps, you know, what baby looks like and what's going on this week, because I definitely can't feel it. <laughs> um, definitely no movement at all. I haven't heard, like felt anything. I'm still in regular clothing. I haven't had to switch over to maternity clothes yet. So that's a plus, although I definitely have a belly now. I mean, I, like I was saying last week, I think maybe starting uh, last week or maybe the week before, I just started noticing, like, I got a gut. And I just feel like it looks like I'm fat, but I, it also could look like I'm pregnant. I'm, like, in the middle right now. So I've been wearing a lot of loose-fitting clothing. <laughs> Um, just because I don't want people to get the wrong idea or the wrong impression. Even though I'm feeling nauseous, I have not puked at all this whole pregnancy. So that is good. There are some days when, you know, I just kind of wish that I would puke just so that I would get the nausea out of the way. Um, but I have not had that happen yet. Um, this week I've also been dealing a lot with constipation, which makes instead of having a nauseous feeling in my stomach, I have pains in my stomach. So I don't know which is worse, nausea or pain. I'm still having quite a bit of acne um, on my face and not too much on my jawline anymore, mostly just on my cheeks. Along with being nauseous, when I do feel, you know, hungry and I wanna eat, I have noticed that I can't eat as much as I used to. Um, you know, I used to get a meal and I'd be able to eat the whole thing. Now it's like I eat half of it and then I'm just stuffed. Uh, I think it's just my uterus and everything is just making it so that my stomach is just smaller and I just have a smaller appetite. So I'm sure that's also contributing to losing, you know, weight. Of course, when I, you know, weigh myself at home, I weigh, my, I weigh myself naked. Um, but when I go to the doctor's office, I have clothes on. Um, and so to them, I'm not losing any weight because with my clothes on, it still looks like I'm about the same weight. So um, that's kind of funny. Like I was saying with my emotions, I'm definitely feeling more emotional. Um, I cry a lot <laughs> at little things. Um, I follow a lot of YouTubers on YouTube and some people just have really sad stories and so I'll just, you know, be over on one side of the couch <clears throat> bawling and Anthony will look over at me and he'll be like, what's wrong? What's wrong? 
my throat was hurting and I'm like, no, it's just this really sad like story on YouTube and he's like, oh my gosh, Shannon, get a hold of yourself. Like I just, I see like a really sad video or I hear something really sad and it just like makes me so emotional. <laughs> so that's been kind of funny to deal with. Also, I've been having a lot of heartburn this week for the first time, which is totally new to me because before all of this, I have never had heartburn before. So I didn't know what to, like when I started feeling like the sensation and everything, I was like, what is going on? Um, and my husband, Anthony, he he gets heartburn all the time so he told me right away um, so that's been kind of weird to deal with I've been taking a lot of Tums um, to help with it it hasn't been happening too much I'm definitely way more nauseous than uh, I experience heartburn but that's just a new symptom that I've been experiencing this week it's kind of weird because I haven't been gaining weight I've been losing weight but it looks like I've been gaining weight because I have like this belly now so it's kind of like really weird to deal with and I'm not sure if it's like blo still bloating or baby or I don't know what it is. I think um, in the next four weeks when I go to my next doctor's appointment, they're going to be screening a lot for like Down syndrome and different things that the baby might have. So that'll be kind of a more stressful appointment, but um, I definitely would rather know just to be prepared. Um, so that'll be um, an interesting appointment. I still really haven't done any research on like any items or you know what brands I want to go with or different things like that. I've kind of been putting it off until I find out the gender just so I can get like you know an appropriate color and things like that. So I'm putting that off but I know I need to get to that <laughs> soon. <laughs> we are planning on doing a gender reveal party. Um, I think we're gonna do it right around Thanksgiving, maybe like the day after, just because all, all of my siblings will be in town. Uh, so that'll be really exciting to do. I think we're gonna do like confetti. I'm really excited. Anthony's still stubborn. He still wants us both to know right away. I don't want us to know until the party. But Anthony doesn't seem like he's gonna budge, so I think I think I might just do it. Maybe he just knows, and I find out, you know, with everyone else. I want it to be a surprise. I can't fake surprise on on a picture, so I kind of want to be surprised. So we'll see as it gets closer. Our uh, 20th appointment, when we would find out the gender and things like that, it would be right before Thanksgiving. I know you can go to like 3D, 4D ultrasound places. Um, I think starting at 16 or 17 weeks and get it done there. So I'm not sure if I want to do something like that or if I just want to wait until our 20th doctor's appointment. So we'll figure that out as it gets closer. So let me just show you a belly shot. Okay, let me scooch back here for a second. So here is the belly shot from the side and from the front and then from the side again. So again, like definitely, you know, I'm not sticking it out. This is just me standing straight up. Definitely like, you know, it's da 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 whoop, <laughs> you know, so it's definitely sticking out. Definitely can tell there's a bump there. Not sure if it's baby or if it is bloating. <laughs> um, but like this is a looser shirt, but I do wear tighter shirts. And so when I do wear tight shirts, like you can see, you know, yeah, there's definitely a bump there. So that was my 12 week belly bump. Um, and I think that about wraps it up for my update on being 12 weeks pregnant. Stay tuned for next week and we'll see if my nausea has gone. Pray for me. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed or whatever. Say, say something for me. I really hope it goes away so I can start gaining weight and eating again. Bye guys.